All right, guys, so I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm walking around at a mall in a public place with a selfie stick. I swear I was never gonna do this, ever. <laughs> Here I am. So I must love you guys a lot to do that, because that is something that is just, uh, I think it's something I probably promised myself. I will never be one of those dudes. But um, I have to tell you, it's kind of fun, and um, it's not too embarrassing. So I did run into a neighbor the other day on, a, on one of our bike trails, walking trails, and um, he just waved. He didn't really think twice about it. You know, it takes a lot to, to subscribe to a new channel as I'm getting everything figured out and, um, you know, to spend some time here with me. So I want to thank you guys. For what I want to tell you about right now is um, getting ready for what's coming, guys. If, if you're not aware of it, um, I want to wake you up a little bit. Um, we've had a lot of banking failures just now. Um, there's a lot of signs that everything could be worse than 2008. Now, I don't want to be doom and gloom here, um, so I'm not telling you to freak out. But if we have a situation like 2008 that comes up again, where we have a major recession and we have a huge increase in the amount of unemployment that comes up, um, that could affect you. It could affect your job. Stacking surfer. So like I think I'm your best friend. Balances in your bank. And stack. Stacking gold and silver is important to do, in my opinion, but it's also important to feed your family. So for those of you that haven't done so yet, um, I recommend getting you know, some food storage that will last you a long period of time. So you know, on the, short, on the short side of it, it might be getting some cans of food. And on the longer side, it might be buying some of the food storage that lasts 25 to 30 years. Um, I think it's important to do that. Next, I think it's important to have some cash on hand. I like to have, at the very minimum, a few weeks worth of cash. And even better would be to have um, several months to a year, up to a year's worth of, of your expenses, not your income, guys, expenses, um, in cash. Um, outside of that, I like to then take everything else and I like to put it in precious metals. Now, if you're on the larger side of, uh, uh, of savings, um, I, I say once you get past three months, I think you're okay putting, um, putting the rest of that into silver and gold. I don't think it needs to all be cash. Uh, you may like bonds. I'm not a big bond fan right now, uh, particularly because when the Fed U turns and starts lowering interest rates, um, you're going to see the, the value of those go down and you're going to see precious metals go up and you're going to miss that boat. Or as I say, you're going to miss that swell. You're going to miss that wave. It's gone. Oh, sad day for you if you miss that epic 30-foot wave. So get ready, guys. Get ready for it. I think some crazy stuff's going to happen here. Um, the other thing I'll tell you is get out of debt. All right? And here's the tricky thing. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, go get one if you, if you have a lot of money and you need to get some help. Otherwise, talk to your significant other, your spouse, or your other friends and family and, and try to come up with a strategy that's gonna be good for you. Um, one of the things that I'll, that I'll throw out there though is getting out of debt is, is important. Um, I know a lot of people think that having personal debt is good so that you can buy investments and then play the stock market or equities or buy precious metals. But I'm telling you guys, um, when you're in debt, you have a obligation to someone else and you don't want that. Get, get yourself out of debt, guys. It's not good to, to have debt. Now, the only, there's only three kinds of debt that I think are appropriate. One is um, on a personal residence, um, but you need to look at your personal residence. You need to look at your debt to income ratio. Um, if you're spending more than 25% of your, of your monthly income on your house, I think you're in too big of a house, too nice of a house. But you, know, you may be in an area like California where you can't help it. It's just really expensive. And people will say, well, then move. Well. Yeah, that's not always easy to do. I've got family here, uh, my family's here, and kids are finishing up high school. Last thing I'm gonna do is just rip them out, unless I have to. Um, the other thing to look at, too, is... So the second kind of debt, I, I say, is transportation. You, you need a car, too, okay? So look at that Ferris wheel right there, guys. I know I'm doing a lot of videos here, but I need to make some more videos to get content out to you guys. So hopefully you're okay with it being at Irvine Spectrum still. Um, car debt, I think, is okay too. However, check your car. 
If you're paying over $500 a month in a car payment, I think you got too nice of a car, you might need to go trade that in. You can probably find a car for less than that. Um, I might be wrong, I don't know. But uh, if you're definitely over $1,000, I think you're, <laughs> think you're having an awesome car. Uh, I've never had one of those. Tell me what it's like. Um, and then the third one, uh, as far as debt goes, is gonna be student loans. However, um, you guys be careful with the student loan stuff. It's really not, it's not a great way to go. Um, there are, you don't have to go to Ivy League um, University and get yourself into hundreds of thousands of dollars debt to, to get a good job, okay? You don't have to do that. It can help though. Um, outside of that, that is not, you should not have any debt unless it's business debt and you have cash flowing assets. Otherwise, don't do it. So if you've got your cash reserves, if you're paying your debt down, okay, so you're in pretty good shape there. Really the next, and you have the food storage, the next thing to do is to start, you know, accumulating more cash and um, also precious metals so that you're able to be ready for when the storm comes. And it's better to, I think it's better to prepare today a little early um, than to prepare too late and the storms hit you hard. Um, that's what I say. As far as allocation goes, watch my new video on allocation. That'll give you a few tips. Um, I'll give you just a little bit more on that too. Is um, I think it's important as you're as you're starting to stack that you don't overdo it. Um, there is a tendency on auctions and even when you see sales to buy more than than you should what, than what you've allocated. Don't do that, guys. Do spread it out a little bit. Um, I do think you've got some time. Now, if you start seeing the price of silver jumping. Um, above $27 an ounce. Uh, that might be a good time to start being a little more aggressive with it. Uh, when it hits 30 and it sticks at 30, that might be the new, that might be the new low. So um, the other thing I'll say too is if you see it drop down closer to 20, probably a good time to buy. So just be aware of things, look at it. There's no reason to freak out over anything. Oh, there's the carousel again. And um, honestly, enjoy enjoy it. Enjoy the ride. Be prepared so that you're not freaking out over anything when, when something happens. Strawberries and then chocolate drizzle on it. And uh, I, think it, I think it's good. All right, I don't even remember what we were talking about, but I think it had something to do with getting ready for crazy stuff coming. But um, I got this. I don't care anymore. See, if you get things like this, you just don't even care. You just go, oh, I'm going to stack silver. When you're having a bad day, you go and get something like this, okay? And then you make a video on it so you can write it off because it's now a prop. That's technically not financial advice. But I am trying it. <laughs> so we'll see if the new 80,000 IRS agents come and get me this year. But what I do want to do is just kind of tell you guys the cautions about what's coming up. Right now, we're kind of in the middle of the eye of a storm of a hurricane, in my opinion, where everything seems kind of calm and peaceful. Um, I believe we're still going to see more bank issues. I think we're going to start to see issues um, with this whole debt ceiling. This isn't finished yet. Um, and I think we're going to see some other issues with inflation creeping back up. Maybe one of those things, maybe two of them, maybe all three of them. In addition to that, there's other issues that could still happen. We could still have issues with the crypto market that could affect things. And um, we could have an, an, a recession really start to kick in. So be prepared, and then you don't have to worry about anything. So get your strategy down. Write it down on paper. Put it in your iPhone and your Android phone. And start to think through, what am I going to do on a regular basis? What am I doing? How am I doing my silver stacking? How fast am I going to do it? And go get something yummy, and then take your mind off of it. Go grab a drink if you need to, and watch a game. Do something, whatever's fun to you guys. So until next time, peace out.